Dale Lamont Robertson wasn't some fancy pants actor who spent his formative years honing his emotive skills and learning to play rugged. To the contrary, he never studied acting at all. Robinson is an American actor best known for his starring roles on television. He played the role of Jim Hardy in the TV series Tale of Wells Fargo and was the owner of an incomplete railroad line in ABC's The Iron Horse. Often appearing as the deceptively thoughtful but modest western hero with a deliberately slow southwestern drawl. After a long career that included 63 films, Robertson retired and now lives in Yukon, Oklahoma. Born in Hera, Oklahoma in 1923, Robertson worked as a professional boxer briefly before enrolling in Claremore Military Academy in Claremore, Oklahoma. He also served in the military before his professional acting career began. He served in a tank crew, and as the combat engineer in North Africa during World War II, he was wounded twice. Robertson began his acting career by chance during World War II, when he was in the United States Army. Stationed at San Luis Obispo, California, Robertson decided to have a photograph taken for his mother, so he and several other soldiers went to Hollywood to find a photographer. A large copy of his photo was later displayed in the photographer's shop window. Eventually serving in the South Pacific, Robertson found himself receiving letters from film agents who wished to represent him. After the war, Robertson stayed in California. Hollywood actor Will Rogers Jr. gave him this advice. Don't ever take a dramatic lesson. They will try to put your voice in a dinner jacket. And people like their harmony and grits in everyday clothes. Robertson therefore avoided formal acting lessons. Robertson was a skilled rider at 10 and trained polo ponies by the time he was a teenager. He often said that the only reason he acted professionally was to save money to start his own horse farm in Oklahoma, which he eventually did. In between, he appeared in more than 60 films and 430 television episodes. In the movies, he was a ruggedly handsome counterpart to leading ladies like Betty Grable, Mitzi Gaynor, and Jean Crane. On television, he had starring roles in popular westerns like Tales of Wells Fargo, which appeared from 1957 to 1961, Iron Horse from 1966 to 1968, and Death Valley Days, which he hosted from 1968 to 1972. Despite his success in the acting industry, Robertson refused to call himself an actor. Rather, he said, he was a personality with a distinctive style, not unlike that of an actor he most admired, Joan Way. An actor can change himself to fit a part, whereas a personality has to change the part to fit himself. He said in an interview in 1988, he added, the personality has to say it in his own way, acting or not. He failed to impress some critics, who found his performances understated to the point of wouldness. But others saw him as an embodiment of the stoic frontier virtues that made westerns one of America's most popular genres for decades. As for his love life, Robertson was married four times. In addition to his wife, the former Susan Robinson, whom he married in 1980, he is survived by his daughters, Rochelle Robertson and Rebel Lee, and a granddaughter. Robertson never made any bones about his desire to get out of the show business one day. He said movies had gotten too sexy for his tastes. He said he got tired of having to hold his stomach in. Mostly, he wanted a ranch. He bought one in Yukon, Oklahoma, about 20 miles west of Oklahoma City. Although loved by many and popular among the people, Robertson was not afraid to speak his mind. He never lost his disdain for Eastern actors, who he thought just played at being cowboys. He said you could spot them by the way they walked around a horse. As for himself, he needed the advice given to him by Will Rogers Jr., son of the Oklahoma humorist. But all that glitters is never gold. Even when you're the famous Dale Robertson, he faced several personal hardships and tragedies throughout his life. Robertson was raised in a poor household during the Great Depression in a small Oklahoman town which led him to have drinking problems. Despite his battles with alcoholism, Robertson had to take odd jobs to support his family. He battled alcoholism for a long time, and his dependency caused him a lot of issues, both on and off the set. In 1958, he was jailed for drunk driving, and he also had a number of well-publicized episodes involving drunken behavior. Fortunately, though, Robertson was successful in becoming sober in the 1970s, and staying that way for the remainder of his life.
He attributed his sobriety to his Christian religion, and in the late 1980s, he started advocating for programs that treat addiction. Robertson had a stroke that left him unable to speak or walk. He battled hard to rehabilitate and finally got back into acting, but in his latter years, his health began to decline further. Things took an even darker turn when Robertson's daughter, Rochelle, passed away in 1981. At the age of 21, due to diabetic complications, the demise of his daughter was a great loss for Robertson and his family. Dale Robertson passed away on February 27, 2013, due to pneumonia and lung cancer. This signaled the end of a golden age in the entertainment industry. Dale Robertson may have left this world, but his legacy and the love that people had for him will always remain. He will forever be remembered as a true icon and a shining example of what it meant to be a great human being. Let us know in the comments below which Dale Robertson movie is your favorite. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.